Good morning, welcome to Winescape TV. I'm here with Pierre from the Simisig Estate in Stellenbosch in South Africa. Um, working our way through this delectable collection of wines, we now find ourselves on the doorstep of the SMV. Uh, a lot of South African estates um, sort of playing around with these uh, particular grape varieties. Uh, I know that's what they're trying to do it in, uh, in Australia as well now. Um, but specifically, Pierre, talk us through this particular one. Right, the SMV is uh, it's, uh, predominantly Shiraz. It's 85% Shiraz with uh, Mavedra and just a uh, 1% of uh, Viognier. Uh, so, um, so this wine, it's also got a little bit more sugar. We, uh, we make it in a style where we use quite a toasty oak with it. So it brings out these uh, bit of uh, mocha and uh, chocolate flavors. I say it has got that sort of that slight, mm. that slight sort of chocolatey thing on the nose, that little bit of smokiness. So what do you think the, the 1% join here, what does that, what does that bring to the, to the table? Uh, the V to the name. <laughs> <laughs> Could to get it in there somehow. <laughs> Otherwise it's just SM. <laughs> SM, what can you do? Um, <laughs> do you think it did adds, adds a little something in there? Yeah, the, the Viognier uplifts a bit of the fruit. Um, it adds a bit of uh, complexity. Mm. That is lovely. That is lovely. Do you think this, the SMB is a, is, a, is a classic South African sort of thing which we do with winemakers do sort of yeah these round blends are really taking off especially mm. um, out in the Swartland area um, our climate allows us to produce really good Shiraz at Simonsa we've got uh, 35 hectares mm -hmm. of Shiraz so it's something that we can really produce quite well so uh, so Shiraz and Shiraz based blends is uh, it's something we we see as a good future for us excellent yeah that's so this one particularly works it works really well because I think there's a I hate to use cliches, but it has got an integration there, which mm. works really, really well. Um, I said, with a, a quite a large majority uh, being held over to the Shiraz, it's uh, so it's not over the top. There's not massive, you know, over over sort of extracted tannins, etc. It works really, really well. I'm sure that Vignier, that one percent, is working its way through the flavour spectrum somewhere. <laughs> Cheers for that, Pierre. Enjoy this. Right. Available from our friends and sponsors at the General Wine Company. <laughs> <laughs>